Oh, the Taylorville FFA livestock judging team is headed to Scotland. They're going this summer to judge Scottish livestock. So WCIA 3's ag reporter Stu Ellis will tell us more about that in this morning's report from the farm. We have some great celebrities behind us. Uh, six uh, young FFA members from Taylorville High School who are going to Scotland. They've been invited to be in Scotland for the International Livestock Judging Contest. And uh, Lizzie Schaefer, how, uh, how did you happen to get invited? So we were reserve national champions at the National Western Roundup in January. So because we were reserve national champions, we get the opportunity to go on this tour. And what sort of livestock judging are you going to be doing in Scotland? So in Scotland, we only get to judge cattle and sheep. They don't really have pigs there for us to judge. They're more confinement animals in the different country. But we will be judging cattle and sheep. And this is, this is, you've been there before. This is a big deal. Yes, I went uh, a couple years ago, actually, with my last livestock judging team, and we're very excited to be able to go again. And you're raising money to be able to get to do, how, do, how does somebody contribute if they want? So we're trying to raise money as much as we can to help subsidize our costs so we can actually be able to all go. So we're trying to be able to raise money, and if anybody wants to send in a check, they can send it to Taylorville High School and make the attention to Taylorville FFA. All right. Now... Livestock in Scotland are a lot different than those in the U.S. Drew Mickey, how do you judge a cow's muscular structure that looks more like a shaggy dog? <laughs> well, it's certainly something different that you have to work through, and I guess uh, there's a first time for everything, and that's going to be the first time I do it, and I guess I'll learn from there. I'm honestly not sure how what kind of categories. I'm sure they kind of fit into the same categories that we use here in America because we all want to raise the most sustainable and productive livestock that we can. So I guess I'll kind of use those same eva evaluation skills, but it'll certainly look a lot different. All right. And one of the things, the important things he said is that learn by doing. That's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA 3, your local news leader.